Welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast and this time we're doing a walking tour around the outside of the Winter Gardens. Now if you're familiar with Blackpool you'll know that this entrance is I suppose the side entrance and the building carries on up there which is a little bit of a shortcut and if you carry on up that little alley and turn left it brings you out at the front door at Church Street and we're going to end our walking tour there um, but we're going to start on this side and we're going to walk right round the perimeter of the building but before we do that can I ask you to do me a favour and subscribe to our YouTube channel hit the bell for notifications as well and then you'll get updates and alerts every time we add a new video because there's loads of stuff to come there's another video as well that you might enjoy of inside the winter gardens so we'll pop the link to that in the description below and then you can watch them both at your leisure so Blackpool Winter Gardens was bought by Blackpool Council in 2010 in a 40 million pound deal and the front elevation of it the stonework was all cleaned in um, 2014 2015 and as you can see by all the scaffolding that's still up on the outside on this elevation there's still a lot of work going off and just looking up there I'll just zoom in <clears throat> just looking up there you can see that the stone cladding has been stripped off that section while that piece is repaired the building was built in 1878 at a cost of a hundred thousand pounds and when you look at all that stonework and you think how old it is goodness gracious me and it stood all this sea weather and salty air and wind and all the rest of it for the last well it's clocking on for 150 years isn't it it's a long time <coughs> so you can understand why it needs quite a bit of tender loving care I know this section here that does actually look quite clean has been restored and you can tell as well when you look at it it looks so much nicer and it's not just about making it look pretty it's about restoring it and keeping it for future generations in the next 150 years anyway the six acre site is quite quite enormous really when you look at its footprint and that's exactly what we're going to do in a minute we're going to go down to this corner here at the side of New Look and obviously this is the back of the Hands Hill Shopping Centre and there's our big red friend the Blackpool Tower so we're going to go down onto this corner and I'm going to show you some pictures which are really interesting because if you've been visiting Blackpool Winter Gardens in 1896 in your long dress and your bonnet and whatever else was the the fashion of the day you wouldn't have seen this corner of the building this today is the Olympia but that wasn't there that was an actual proper outdoor garden and in that garden in 1896 a ferris wheel was built so we're going to go over here just get out of the glare just another interesting snippet while we're here that is being converted into a hotel I did know that but you can see that work is now underway there's lots of redevelopment going on all over Blackpool so this is the corner of the Olympia which is the big exhibition space inside and when um, well I know when a lot of you were young it used to be is it Professor Peabody's play place it, it, it's not it's not uh, one of my one of my archive haunts that so I'm, I'm not quite sure um, Sorry, dear. so um, this corner the Olympia was also used for Illuminasia so if you went in there you'd have enjoyed the the lights and the, the, the show so looking up there you're looking up towards Church Street Church Street is in that gap there so at the back of I'm just, just trying to make sure I show you the right bit at the back of here can you see can 
can you see the the roofs at, at the back? That one, that one over there, I think is the roof of the opera house, and this here is part of the roof of the pavilion theatre. So this is actually what the view was back in the day. Obviously it's an old sepia picture but you can see that this is the outside of the pavilion theatre and the building at the left of the photograph is underneath the building that we see today so the, the actual edge of this um, building the pavement where those scaffolding poles are is right at the front of that photo so in between the edge of the photo and the building is the, the actual outdoor gardens and the way that the, the building was, was orientated so all this side of it has been has been added has been added at a later date so now we're back to the age old problem that we've always got of whether or not you can fit everything into the viewfinder so we're going to walk down Adelaide Road which is this one Adelaide Street even which is this one and we're going to walk round to where the new conference centre is being built so that's the back of the car park at the Hounds Hill Blackpool Tower and that's where the Hounds Hill extension is going on that plot of land that's currently being used as car park so this big brick wall here with the blue boards on it is the filler between the back of the Olympia and the back of the Pavilion Theatre. I thought that bit there was the Pavilion but it's it's obviously not, it's, it's this section here. Oh there you go, we can see it now. So there's, there's the top of it. You see the top of the Pavilion? And if I just show you this again, you can see you can see the brickwork on the photograph that's still there and I bet you've never even noticed that. So the the trick is to look up look up, down and around. So these these boards along the back of here are used for well, they were used for the Samsi and Spray Urban Art Exhibition which was run by my good friend and artist Robin Ross. So this is at the back of the Empress Ballroom. So if you come to a, an exhibition event at the Winter Gardens, this is where you come in on this back corner straight into the ballroom so that you've not got to navigate your way through all of the building with a trolley and all of your stuff. So the conference centre that we're just going to come round to in a minute is being built on um, Leopold Grove and it's being built on the site of what used to be a former car park um, for staff I believe can't remember it ever being open for <coughs> for public use <coughs> and the conference centre will be able to hold 2,000 delegates in the new building alone but because it can be connected into the actual full winter gardens internally it will be able to hold up to 7,000 delegates so it's obviously going to be a big venue where big events can be held and this car park on Adelaide Street is going to be the site of a new hotel which is linked to the Winter Gardens with a footbridge so that you don't need to get wet when you come in from your accommodation. So I'm going to go over here because I've got another photo to show you and I want to just show you the scale of the building and you can't really see it when you stood so close to it. This is what I was saying about it being a six acre site and you're not really aware of how big it is when you're, when you're um, 
going into the entrances. So as we turn around, you can see just how enormous it is. There's a tower. So these artist impressions are a bit at a different angle, but you get the drift of it. So this is on the left, the original red brick building that you can still see now. And then you can see the conference centre there that's um, being built at the right hand side. And there's a, I think there's a little gap between the two buildings, is a sort of an access. There's an access road, you can see something on, on this building here, on this um, drawing. So that's going to be amazing when it's finished. And now I think what we're going to do is take a walk down there. You see what I mean now about, I mean I'm right, <laughs> I'm halfway up Adelaide, Adelaide Street here. This is what they're using as a, a, a compound for the materials. Um, and we're a fair way up Adelaide Street to, to even get it all onto the, onto the viewfinder. It's quite a good shot that from there. So that's St John's Church that you can see on the right hand side of the screen. And then this red brick building is going to be tidied up in front and made into a attractive frontage. So this whole section of land will be transformed and look totally different. So this is the entrance that I mentioned into the Empress Ballroom. And it takes you straight down the ramps. And we're going to go and take a look in the gap that they've left for a footpath between their building site and see, go and see what we can see but first I'm going to just show you this while we're stood in the right place this is a site map taken from a, a, a book of Blackpool that I've got and if you look at the top left picture that's the Winter Garden site in 1846 and right in the centre left of shot that is Bank Hay House which is now part of the Matsy Cafe and then the picture that we've just looked at which is the um, pavilion theatre and the horseshoe you can see that on the top right picture in 1880 as the sort of only building the out, outer building with the gardens up to the edge of Coronation Street whereas now the actual building goes up to the edge of Coronation Street and then in later years as times progressed in 1897 bottom left and then the bottom right one is today that's how the site's changed and, and every literally every inch of land has been built on. So the white square on the right hand side of the bottom right picture near my thumb, that's the car park which the conference centre is now filling. So when that's done, there is no more room at the end, I think. Um, if you're interested in all these old maps and history, there's a full article on our Will Live Blackpool website about the history of the Winter Gardens. So I'll pop you the link to that in the description below and you can uh, take a good look at it and find out everything that you wanted to know. So this is the new conference centre taking shape at a pace. The glass is going in. Everything's coming together nicely. We'll see if we can... We'll see if we can line up to the fence and, and get a good look. Right, are you ready? So if you look, it's cutting steel. Sorry about that noise. I think we'll go this way before I give you all the earache. Oh, the gates are open. Wouldn't you know, all I needed to do was walk in at the foot. Very interesting. So there's a little footpath down the side. I've got to say I do like a, I do like a building site. 
I like to see what they're doing and how it takes shape and how it develops. And this is the other side of it. Goodness me, I think that's a I think that's an exercise in getting a quart in a pint pot that. Before much, before much longer, we'll be we'll be going in and, and seeing it. So now we're back onto Church Street, and we're at the front of the building. So something else that you might not know is that these rooms upstairs here, these upstairs um, windows that you can see. These are all officers. Oh, just a minute, I'm, they're using this as a road <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> Let me get out of the, the, the passage of oncoming cars. These are all officers upstairs and that's what's called the Empress Buildings. So there's, there's quite a lot of office accommodation and that's all used by all kinds of different Different, different businesses, the council, various different things. And that up there, another one, another one that you see when you look, look up, that's the top of the, is it called the proscenium? The top of the um, stage thing where they do the projections from and whatnot in the theatre. So now we're back to the front of the, the building. Um, and unfortunately the sun is right at the back of it so it's not quite as obvious as I would have liked how nice and clean the front of that white stone looks but trust me it is so don't forget folks oh there you go look you can see the the top of the the theatre the theatre gear so don't forget folks make sure that you've signed up for your weekly email newsletter make sure that you've also signed up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell for notifications and then you'll get alerts when we make new videos. So you'll have a lovely day now and don't forget, tell all your friends to share and follow as well. See you later. Bye.